Here we're going to do 2013 question 3 in part B. So this is the isometric projection. Basically we're going to draw an axis in the middle, set up a scale, and then draw our half pipe in 3D. So first of all, let's give ourselves an axis. So an isometric axis, all of these angles here are 120 degrees apart. So I can draw them using my 30 degree set square and my T-square. The next important thing I need to do is set up a scale. So I'm going to go up to the top corner bit of the page here where I have some space. Now I know myself the longest angle in this is 131, so the longest dimension. So I need to have about that much space, but that's okay, so we'll start it here. Just a little reference line. So again, 45 degrees. Double check I've got enough space. All good. So this angle here is 45 degrees. And then we'll do another one at 30. Along the 45 degree line, these will be our true lengths. And on this, this line here, this is going to be an isometric scale. Basically, we need to scale down the dimensions, because in an isometric scale, we're looking at it at an angle. So if you look at this set square here, so it's a little easier to see because it's smaller, that's a true length there. But if I turn it, as we're looking at an isometric, it gets shorter. It appears to get shorter. So we're simply going to go from our two lengths on the drawing to what it should look like in our 3D isometric view. Now what I need to do along here is take all the lengths that I need for my drawing, put them up here, and I'm going to project down the isometric scale, and that's the distance I'm going to use. That's all that's involved. So I'm going to start by taking some of the more common lengths go back and have a look at our drawing. Well, we definitely need 10, 20, 30. That sounds like a good place to start. So I'm going to mark at 10, 20, and 30. You don't have to write that links in, but I find it much easier when I'm going back, back and forth all the time to make sure I'm using the right things. And the next step we're going to do is simply project vertically down for the true length line to the isometric scale. There we go. So now, if I wanted to draw something that's 30 millimeters long, I'm going to use this length right here. So I'm going to continue to put in a few more lengths that I need from the drawing. I'm also going to need, as we get bigger, 40 and 60. If I look at the smaller numbers, I'm going to need 12, 15, and 23. It really pays to be very careful and t tidy at this point. As you make a mistake here, it's going to get messy as you go through the rest of the drawing. There we go. Finally, I know if I look through the whole drawing, 
where the big lengths that I do need is 131. If you add up all the distances along the longer edge, you'll find that they come to 131. We're probably going to want 171 and 81 too. Okay, that's enough for now. Don't worry about getting all the links in the very beginning. Once you've got the few you need to start, we can always come back and add them in as we go along.